This is Matthew McConaughey. Natalie Portman. James Patterson. Michael Ian Black. And you are listening to Five Questions with Dan Chabelle. Dan, welcome to Five Questions. Well, I appreciate uh, being here and, and, and looking forward to it. How did your upbringing shape who you are as both a fighter and a human? Uh, yeah, I think it definitely played a, a large role. I mean, my dad kind of was a little bit tougher to, <laughs> to say it nicely, but, you know, it, it, it made me tougher and definitely, um, yeah, he kind of instilled some, some definite good habits as far as, uh, you know, being dedicated and, and working hard for sure. He seems like a big influence on you. And, you know, as tough as he was on you, you were there for a tough on a lot of other people. <laughs> I'm sure I was. Yeah. <laughs> what inspired you to become a wrestler? Why do you think you've been able to have such a long career doing it? Uh, you know, I think, you know, my dad was a wrestler and just kind of stuck me and my brother in wrestling, you know, at five years old and, you know, didn't really have a choice but I, I i enjoyed it also so you know and the more i did it the or the longer i did it the better i got and you know the better i got the more i liked it so you know it was uh I, and and i did other sports as well but I, I think i gravitated more towards wrestling you know because it was individual sport and it, it was kind of up to me if i won or lost or you know, how I performed. I, I couldn't blame it on anyone else. Yeah. You like the accountability. I feel that I feel the same way as an author and an entrepreneur as well. <laughs> right. Like I can't really put the, I mean, you can blame other people, but really it's you, right? Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, you have, you know, obviously a great legendary training routine. How is competing in the U S Olympics different than that of the UFC from a training perspective? Well, training wise, it, it's, you know, it beats up your body about the same, but wrestling, there's a lot more competition. You know, you'll wrestle 50, 60 times in a year as, as opposed to maybe three fights in a year. So, but the training definitely beats you up about the same. And, um, yeah, I, I definitely use those habits I had for training for wrestling to, to come over to MMA and, and, you know, try to be as prepared as I, I could be. And, and you know, I think wrestling is a good sport to teach you how to, you know, work hard and get in good shape. Absolutely. And which UFC fight are you the proudest of and why? Uh, which UFC fight? Uh, I don't know. Uh, obviously, you know, a couple of Shogun fights were, were pretty tough. And, and um, but yeah, I don't know. I was mean, there like a, a, of, a memorable one where you look back and you're like, yeah, that helped me make my career or that was special because of a reason? Uh, well, I mean, obviously, I think most of my fans or MMA fans in general uh, really like my fight with Bisming because they didn't like him so well. And 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 I hammered him pretty good. Uh, yeah, but my, I don't know, one of the, probably the two favorite fights of that, that I felt more, you know, accomplishment that I achieved um, wasn't in the UFC. It was, <clears throat> it was uh Fedor and, and Vanderlei, you know, the, the two fights there, Vanderlei, I got, you know, got me my second belt in pride. So that was a nice one also. And what's your best piece of career advice? My best, what? Sorry. Piece of What's your best piece of career advice? Uh, you know, just enjoy it and you know, make sure you're having fun, but learning along the way and get in a place where it's going to push you and, and and teach you how to how to fight rather than you know uh, go easy on you or or tell you what you want to hear. You you know you got to get somebody that's going to push you and tell you the right things. Yeah, you have to have a good coach and you have to right. have the determination and you got to challenge yourself. And and that's probably going back to what I was saying before, why you had such a long career is because 
you kept kind of going and trying to improve yourself and getting better. And it's not like the competition sleeps too, right? They're, they're getting better. There's going to be more competition. So it kind of keeps you on your toes. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Well, well, that's great advice. And thank you so much for being on the show. Well, I appreciate being here. Thank you so much.